going to tell you about the time I almost killed my dog. Hi, welcome to Angel's Anything Show. And today, I'm going to tell you about the time I got my dog stoned. So, let's get into it. You guys all know Panda. She's adorable. Wait, should we get her in here? I feel like we should get her in here. Panda! Panda! She never listens to me. So the story goes as follows. It was last week, Panda was home alone. Normally she acts like a sweet little angel, but this time she wasn't acting so sweet. And Dan came home from work to discover a dog laying on a couch, not willing to get up to greet him. Wrappers everywhere. Uh, <laughs> a trash strewn about everywhere and the remnants of a wrapper of a Snoop Dogg dark chocolate marijuana bar that I purchased in Colorado two months ago. She also ate all of my vegan beef jerky strips, which really pisses me off because those are very expensive. And it's like, Panda, you're not even vegan, you know, you don't even need it. Before we get into the story even further, I just want to say I did not leave. Dan kept saying I left my chocolate bar out. I left it out. I did not leave it out. I left it away where it's been sitting for months where I've always had a weed chocolate bar always sitting up on that shelf. The shelf is taller than her. It's like in its package in a box. The box was a jar but like geez still I mean she'd never gone over there so before everyone is fucking calls DSS or whatever ASPCA I did not leave it out. But anyway, he gets home, he realizes what she's eaten. By the way, dark chocolate's toxic for dogs and so is too much THC, so ooh. She normally is obsessed with him, so he walks in and she won't even like uh, get up to say hello and I guess she just like couldn't even walk. <laughs> she couldn't even like walk, like you know when you first get high and you get like really high? Uh, she couldn't even walk and she was just like all fucked up, looked all stoned, so I'm freaking out, I'm like, we gotta take her to the hospital. So Dan takes her to the hospital, I guess she like shits on his leg a little bit on the way or something, I don't know. She's in the hospital and apparently, as she's sitting there in the waiting room, she's like looking side to side, like tripping balls, like any little noise, she's just like, huh, huh? Wobbling when she's walking, just like having a really bad trip. Or maybe she was having an amazing trip, I don't really know. He was like, do I tell them what happens or do I lie? I'm like, no, fuck that, you gotta tell them. And I guess that he, they like giggled, I'm like, oh, that happens all the time and people usually aren't honest with us about it. Apparently it happens all the time, so we're not horrible dog parents, but they took her in, they, uh, what else, I was gonna say something funny, I don't remember. They took her in, they took blood work, they did an x-ray of her stomach to make sure like shit was moving, I guess, and then they were gonna give her charcoal, which like absorbs all the bullshit, and keep her overnight. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. So, um, <laughs> anything for our girl. So, ugh, God. So anyway, he admits her, whatever. I'm at work, I don't even know. I'm like not around. He picks her up the next day. We have the reports that they printed out of like what she did overnight and it's really funny because it's like 10 o'clock PM. Like patient feels, it seems much better. Like three o'clock, feed her some food. She ate well. It's like this bitch can eat. She can eat all day. Like nothing stops her. She is a tank. And then on the report it was like non-toxic amount of THC or chocolate. So basically we didn't have to bring her in. But what would you have done? Like I don't know this was the first time it ever happened. I think if it was just the chocolate we would have just monitored her and if it was just the weed we would have just monitored her. But I think all of it together and like she seemed so fucked up that it was just like scary so we brought her in. Whatever. The money is spent. It's done. Now I can't buy a house because we spent all this money on our dog. Hey, what are you gonna do? At least we'll be homeless with our dog, you know? And then people will give us money because people love to give homeless people with dogs money. Hashtag, if you can't afford rent, you can't afford a dog. Get off the street! <laughs> so, um, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, so, uh, when he picks her up, they're like, she's fine. And they're like, now, do you have a gravel driveway or a gravel road where you live? And Dan's like, no, nothing even like that. We don't even have a driveway. And they're like, okay, because there's rocks in her stomach. Well, Dan was like, that's weird. Okay, well, I don't know. She's home like a day or two. Dan's on the computer and he's like, Panda? And he, she's not there. So he's like, hmm, what's she doing? She's being naughty. So he finds her over by our house plant eating the little pebbles that are around the houseplant, like, you know, decorative garden pebbles, 
eating them, little pebble rocks, munching away. Keep in mind, this dog, we got her, she had no teeth. They're like nubbed down to the ground. And the vet was like, what has she been chewing? I'm like, we don't know. So she obviously loves to eat rocks, and she's probably been doing it for a long time. And also keep in mind that earlier in the week, before she ate this weed, she had gotten worms in her butt, a tapeworm, not heartworm, a tapeworm. And they're like, oh, it could be from eating larva of whatever. And we're like, what the fuck? Because she has no fleas, like what could this be? She ate the rocks on top of soil. That plant tends to get black flies, which is why we don't plant water and it's like dying in our house. So that's definitely how she got the worms. That's definitely why she had the rocks in her stomach. And up until about two days ago, she'd been shitting out literal rocks. Like she was shitting in the house cause like in the night cause her stomach was fucked up still. She doesn't like shit in the house normally, but uh, you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. But it was like the cleanup was easy because it was not poop, it was rocks. This chick tore her butthole up pooping out rocks. And she loves them. She fucking loves them. So, $1,300 later, Panda's cured, but she still has Pika. So we need to address that. <laughs> but that's the story of how our dog got into some shit last week and she got super stoned. Um, and that's basically it. Hide your weed chocolates, hide your rocks, hide your trash, hide your vegan beef jerky because Panda's coming to town. Well, that's the story. There it is. Hope you guys liked it. And thank you for watching this episode of Angel's Anything Show. See you next time. Panda, tell the people you're all right. You can't even look at me, can you?